What up, man? It's Society. It is your host with the most, Shadow Lope. Back at you with another video. Make sure you guys tap on the like, the subscribe. It's free. It don't cost anything. You'll be helping my channel out a lot. You know what I mean? Get into the algorithm. Now, what I want to talk about today, but before we get into it, you know, my condolences out to the families who lost a child yesterday in the horrendous, devastating uh, massacre, you know, of all those innocent children. Um, it's fucked up, homie. You know what I mean? Um, when you hear some shit like that, you know, so, so many, you know, children's lives lost, you know what I mean? Um, it's sad, homie. It really is, you know. Um, that type of shit is out, you know what I mean? Um, I know, you know, people, they, you know, they think of us gamers, they think, they, you know, cause chaos for no reason. They, we don't feel anything. We, we don't, nah, but we, we have feelings and we have thoughts just like anybody else, you know what I mean? We have conversations like this, you know, about shit that goes on and, and stuff like that. We have our own opinions on it, you know what I mean? We're, we're not just, you know, clueless, you know, of everything that's going on and, and, and shit like that. You know, this type of shit doesn't fly. This type of shit is fucking wild. You know what I mean? This shit, it, it's sad, homie. It really is, dog. You know what I mean? Shit like that. You know, a lot of us gang members, we have a lot of, um, we, we, we have a lot of sympathy for kids. You know what I mean? Um, like a soft spot for kids because, you know, seeing these kids uh, struggle, you know what I mean? Seeing these kids, you know, like go through, you know, certain battles and struggles. Yeah, when we see that, it reminds us of a lot about us, you know what I mean? Because we know what made us, you know what I mean? We know why we we, we, we came down the path that we came down. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, so when we see that on the kid, you know, like, it bothers us. You know, we want to help the kid because we know what it feels like not to have somebody to help us. You know what I mean? Uh, we reflect a lot of our own battles in that, you know what I mean? So so we, we sympathize with these children, you know what I mean? Um, we honestly, we do. So when shit like this happens, that's why, you know, when, when, that's why, you know, behind the walls, when anybody gets incarcerated, if there's any act or crime, you know, like towards children, no group puts up with it and, and, and they handle that shit, you know what I mean? Because nobody's going to tolerate that shit because a lot of us, you know, sympathize, you know what I mean? Because we, 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 we know what it is, you know, because a lot of us, you know, we're victims to a lot of, you know, abuse or molestation or, um, neglection and shit like that you know what i mean so so obviously you know our rage takes over so when these people come in i mean they ain't gonna be you know that's it it's a done deal it's a wrap for them you know um that's what i mean like the chaos that we 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 do out there because people be like oh these guys are some monsters ruthless mon like nah you know what i mean like i i'm not saying that what we do isn't bad it is i'm saying but it's not just done it's not it's not pointless chaos you know what i mean in our in our, in our mentals this individual though when people do shit like this this right here let's break down the mental of um, the mass shooter there's not that much that's known about the mass shooter but from what i know from what i've gathered is he was 18 years old he shot his grandma before heading towards the school he lived with his grandparents. That's the first red flag. The first red flag is the fact that he's 18 years old and he's living with his grandparents. Already says a lot. What does that say? Why doesn't he live with his mom and dad? You get what I mean? There's already there's already something there, homie. You, you feel me? That already lets you know a lot. It, it's a little bit of information, but a lot at the same time. You get me? That already lets you know he's 18 years old. He went to go do this, right? So he already felt... That he was pushed to the point of no return at 18 years old. Because he turned 18 years old not that long ago. And, and, and at the, on his birthday, he went to buy these guns. So he already had this shit planned out way before we got to this moment. So before this moment actually occurred, this kid, or well, this young youth, already felt like he was, you know what I mean? It lets me know that he resents his parents. He had a lot of problems towards his parents. Um, because he could have just gone anywhere and done it to anybody, but he went to a school, so he was trying to prove a point. That already lets me know that there was a real, real how can I say, like there was some neglection going on, you know, and, and he resented his parents a lot for it because the reason he chose a school because he knows that it was going to get big media coverage, you know what I mean? Uh, he knows that, you know, he would be remembered. You know, for this, for, for the rest of his life, people will now speak his name. Because he felt invisible his whole entire life. You know what I mean? 
uh, shooting up anything yet. People would have talked about it, but this, this is it, it, it was finally his. People will know his name and know about him. So that already lets me know, uh, you know, he was neglected, you know, by the ones he he loved the most. Um, he, the reason he shot his grandparents already lets me know his grandparents were um, probably not um, the best, you know, either. So he goes with his grandparents, and they weren't, they were not as bad as his parents. But at the same time, uh, they didn't give him what he was looking for. They didn't, they didn't, I guess, justify his his feelings. As he was, as he wanted it to be, um, you know what I mean. Um, you know, they probably blamed him, you know, and probably were telling him, you know, you know, stuff that he didn't want to hear. You get what I'm saying? Neglection is very powerful. You know, I tell individuals take care of your children because um, neglection and all this shit, it, it, it creates a psychosis in the mental. You know what I mean? Um, it, 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 it makes people go cuckoo. You know, where they feel like doing something like this, as heinous and hor horrendous that this is, that somehow is justified for his feelings. You know what I mean? Um, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, but to them, in their mental, it made perfect sense. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. People need to understand how powerful the human mental, your brain is. You know what I mean? Uh, how important it is to 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 uh, be there for your child and to love and, and like I said we're very emotional creatures you know what I mean we need love and affection and, 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 and guidance you know uh, because when you when you're not there to provide that to a child shit like this happens you know what I mean look at the Mike Tyson I don't know if you guys watched the Mike Tyson story where Mike Tyson talks about his childhood although Mike Tyson became to be a professional athlete and stuff like that he went bankrupt he had drug problems he uh, he, he was you know burglarizing people he he was getting into street fights and, and and even though you know he made a career in boxing he was still he was still um put in a place where where he got to fight and release the anger physically you know hurting people so the the hurting people made him feel better um but it, it still wasn't a, a good way to channel his 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 emotion because he was still hurting somebody you get what I mean? So although he wasn't killing somebody and he was making money out of it, he was still hurting another human being. And that's what made him feel better about himself. Same with these gang members. You know what I mean? And, and, and some people, when they abuse their kids, you know, you know, a lot of they become serial killers or mass shooters like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's always um, inflicting pain on others always makes them feel better about their pain that they're feeling inside you know you hear michael uh, uh mike tyson's you know story about his mom being a prostitute homeless um verbal abuse getting put uh, bullied humiliated um and that's why he his temper was always out of control because he didn't want to feel humiliated no more he didn't want nobody humiliating him no more so when he ever he felt like somebody was trying to humiliate him he went on the defensive really quick you know what i mean where he wanted to inflict pain um you know what I'm saying? Same with these gang members. You know what I'm saying? Um, people need to understand, you know, the the you know the emotional roller coaster that goes behind this. Never to justify. It. Don't think that I'm here to justify this individual uh, individual's action. There's no justifying this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, um, you know, overall, based based on what we know, we could already un understand that some psychological problems were uh, played a factor in this individual's you know decision. You know, people always want to know. Uh, why did they do this? You're never gonna be able to truly understand why they do it, uh, but at least you get the pieces behind maybe what led up to this. You know what I mean? Never to justify it, but to understand. Um, you know, because shit like this. I mean, come on, homie. It, it, it's wild, but that's why I tell people, hey, it's important how you how you raise your child, homie. Uh, pay attention to them. Tell them you love them and be there like how it's supposed to, because how it really is supposed to be. Because when you neglect your child, when you verbally insult them, when you do all this, this, and that, you don't understand where where the future's gonna take them. You know what I mean? It was, it's gonna take them down some course of, you know, some become compulsive, you know, gamblers, uh, you know, um, some become, you know, um, alcoholics, uh, you know, um, gang members, serial killers, murders, but but never nothing good. You know what I mean? That's what I be try, trying to tell individuals. Uh, be careful how you know you raise your child because you know it doesn't take a genius to to see um, you know that this individual uh, clearly you know was going through you know 
being raised, you know, he had a lot of family issues, you know what I mean? Um, why he ended up with his grandparents and why he, he felt he needed to buy these assault rifles and go do what he did. You know what I mean? Um, I already let you know, you know, you know, you know, the, the, in the, the mentor of this individual. Um, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Um, because it's crazy. Um, it's crazy, you know, what, 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 what happens. I'm just saying, Shadow, we out.